Hey guys, in this episode we will learn how to implement byte alignment using bit manipulations. We had learned the concept of byte alignment in our previous episode. We had seen how hardware expects the memory addresses it receives to be a multiple of a number x, where x is a power of 2 number. We had taken the example case of x equal to 64 and we had aligned the address A to address B which fulfills this requirement of the hardware. Please have a look at our previous episode on the concept of byte alignment. The link is provided in the description below and also at the top right corner of your screen. Alright, in this episode we will do floor byte alignment. Here we have two inputs A and X. Now you need to round off A to the nearest number that is smaller than or equal to A and is a multiple of the number X. X in the input is a power of 2 number. Taking an example, if A is 100 and X is 32, then the multiple of 32 which is the nearest number smaller or equal to A is 96. So we round off A to 96. Taking another example, if A is 100, X is 128, then the multiple of 128 which is the closest to A and is smaller than or equal to A is 0. Therefore, we round off A to 0. Since we are rounding off A to a number smaller or equal to A, therefore we say we are doing floor operation. Alright, if you want to try this question yourself, please pause the video and start coding. Remember, we want to solve the question using bit manipulations instead of using modulus and division operators. First, can you recollect what is a unique property of power of two numbers when viewed in their binary form? Power of two numbers such as 8, 32, 64, 128, etc. They only have one set bit in their binary number form. For a given input x, which is a power of two number, let's say we have the only set bit in nth position. Let's take x equal to 8. Now what is 8 in binary? It is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So it has one set bit which is in the fourth position. Marking the positions from LSB for x equal to 8 we have n equal to 4. Now let's see the other binary numbers near to 8. We have 0, 7, 9, 15, 16, 17, 23, 24. Okay, now given a power of 2 number x which has its only set bit in the nth position then any number which only has set bits in the nth position or to the left of nth position will be a multiple of x. Take an example of 8, look at 16 and 24. The multiple of 8 numbers only has set bits in the 4th or to the left of 4th bit position and therefore the numbers which are not a multiple of x will have set bits to the right of the nth position, right? If x is 8, then the numbers that lie between 8 and 16 will have set bits in the LSB, 2nd bit or the 3rd bit positions. Also, the numbers that lie between 16 and 24 will have set bits to the right of the 4th position as well. Now, given any such number A, which lies somewhere between two multiple of 8 numbers such as 16 and 24, then we could unset all the bits on the right of the fourth bit that is first second and third bits from the LSB then we could reduce a to a number which is a multiple of 8 example 17 would become 16 15 would become 8 and 16 would remain 16 9 would become 8 extending this concept for any given number x which is a power of two number and has its set bit in nth position then to round off a to the nearest multiple of x that is smaller or equal to a we could just unset the bits in a which are on the right side of the position n now how to unset those bits in a to unset these particular bits in a we need to create a proper mask which has zeros in those bit positions which are to the right of n and whose remaining bits are 1 and then we could do an AND operation between A and the mask. To create the mask, we could use the input X itself. From our previous episodes, we learned if we subtract 1 from a power of 2 number, the resulting number will have 1's starting from the LSB position 
till the position to the right of the only set bit in the number and the remaining bits will be 0. So x minus 1 will have all 1s to the right of the nth position and zeros in the remaining position. Now we could invert x minus 1 and then we will have zeros in the positions to the right of the nth position and the remaining bits would all be 1. This is how we can get our required mask. So now we do AND operation between A and this mask which is inverted x minus 1. Then the bits to the right of nth position in A will become 0 and the remaining bits in A will be unchanged. Wonderful, so our answer is A and inverted x minus 1. This function will round off A to the closest multiple of x which is smaller than or equal to A. Now if you remember from our episode on subtracting 1 from a number, link in the description, inversion of x minus 1 is actually same as minus x. Therefore, our answer would also be a and minus x. These two gives us our required floor byte alignment. Great! Now let's revise the concept of division by power of two numbers. We know that the remainder is always less than the divisor, isn't it? So if you divide a number by 8, the remainders would be between 0 and 7. Similarly, if you divide a number by 16, the remainder would be between 0 and 15. So if you divide any number a by x, the remainders are always between 0 and x minus 1. Now if you subtract the remainder from the dividend, then the resultant number will be a multiple of the divisor. That is, if we find the remainder of a divided by x and subtract the remainder from a itself, then the resultant number will be a multiple of x. Great. So to round off a to a lower multiple of x, we can do a minus remainder of a divided by x. Now we also learned how to find remainder without using modulus operator in our previous episode, whose link is in the description. If x is a power of 2 number, remainder of a divided by x can be found by doing a and x minus 1. Therefore, our answer is a minus a and x minus 1. This operation will also result in floor byte alignment. Wonderful, we found three methods of doing the alignment. Great, before we finish things off though, let's attempt a spin-off problem, which is a bit simpler. In our question, the input x was unknown to us. But now, suppose x is a known constant 8. So your function only has one input a, and you need to do 8 byte alignment based on floor. That is, find the nearest number to a that is a multiple of 8 and is smaller than or equal to a. Here we already know x is 8, so we just need to remove the last 3 bits in a every time. To do this, we could use shift operations. First, we do right shift of a 3 times to remove any set bits in the 3 rightmost bits. And then we do left shift of a to bring back all the remaining bits in a to their original positions. Left shift will introduce zeros in the vacant bits in LSB side. So we have a right shift by 3 and then left shift by 3 to do floor 8 byte alignment. Wonderful, that's it for now. In the next episode, we are going to implement another type of byte alignment. Thanks for watching the episode. Do hit the like button and please subscribe. See you.